Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly theatre news recap, the show that I'm filming two days before I put it up. So if any news comes out in the next two days, I'm a little bit screwed. <laughs> but this is the show where we recap the past week's uh, West End and UK tour news. I do these every single week, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Uh, yes, I'm away at Musical Con for the next two days, so I won't have time to make a weekly news recap, so I'm filming it early. I mean, it's Friday. Typically all the news comes out like Monday to Friday, so we should be fine. Um, knowing knowing my track record and my luck, this is going to be the one week where like everything is announced on like Saturday. <laughs> Let's start as we always do with our casting news. So we got the cast for the Cold War musical that is heading to the Almeida. Uh, this is an adaptation of the film. It was previously announced that Elliot Levy, Luke Thallon and Anya Shalotra would be in the cast, and now we have the complete rest of the cast, who include Ali Goldsmith, Ryan Gashinsky, Anastasia Martin, Alzbeta Matisakova, Jordan Metcalf, Katarina Nokovic, Sophie Maria Warner, and Alex Young. Also, there's non binary representation. Alzbeta. Al Alzbeta is. Yes! <laughs> There's the fire representation! We love to see it! Let's go! <laughs> Next up, we head over to Sister Act. We have a new Mother Superior. Sue Cleaver will be joining the show from Thursday the 14th of March in Brighton. She will be playing in Brighton before going to Manchester, Cork, Belfast, Glasgow, York, and Birmingham. And then further casting for the role after this will be announced very soon. Very exciting. We love Sister Act. Can't wait to see it again in London. I love to see it. Next up we got the cast for the fantastically great women who changed the world. This is a musical that toured the UK last year and it's returning. Uh, I didn't catch it last year and I'm really hoping I can. I've got my fingers crossed because I really want to see it. But here are the new fantastically great women who are joining the cast. Uh, Elena Breschke, Jennifer Caldwell, Georgia Grant Anderson, Chloe Hart, Leah Vassell, Millie Kiss, and our two swings for the show, Summer Priest and Rachel Sheeran. This show is very exciting, and I need the dates because I don't have them written down. Where are the dates? I have the dates now. The show will be opening on the 30th of November and going to London, Salford, Cardiff, Milton Keynes, Coventry, Chichester, Newcastle, Leeds and Nottingham. So if you're near any of those, you've got to catch it. I'm going to try and catch it in London. I need to catch it at Wimbledon. I've got, I've got to try. I want to see this one really badly. Next up, we have the cast for... What have we got? What have we got? What's next? There's so many casts. Unfortunate. Uh, the Untold Story of Ursula. The Sea Witch, another one that I've really wanted to catch for ages and keep missing it, so I've got to try this time. Fingers crossed. And this cast... Stunning. We have Shauna Hamik from Orange is the New Black making the, her stage debut. We have River Medway, the iconic queen from RuPaul's Drag Race season three. I pronounced RuPaul really weirdly there. I'm not fixing it. <laughs> Thomas Lowe, who playing Triton. Ali Dart, who playing Sebastian. Jamie Mawson, who's playing Eric. And Julian Capelli as Grimsby. As well as our ensemble and the studies who will be linked in the description. Again, I've got to catch it. There's so many really cool shows that are coming back, and I'm like, I missed these the first time, I've got to catch them now. Next up, we have a new production of the Scottish play. Uh, this is touring the UK a little bit and doing uh, like an immersive version, uh, starring Ray Fiennes and Idira Vimar as Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, respectively. But we now have the full cast as well, who include Ben Allen as Ross, Ewan Black as Malcolm, Levi Brown as Angus, Jonathan Case as Satan, Danielle Fiamania as Second Witch, Keith Fleming as King Duncan, Michael Hodgson as the Second Murderer, Lucy Mangan as the First Witch, Jake Needs as the First Murderer, Richard Pepper as Lennox, Stefan Rodri as Banquo, Rose Riley as Mentwith, Men... Men... Menteith? That's a Shakespeare name I've never heard before. <laughs> I've, I've read Macbeth. I've seen Macbeth. Who is this? <laughs> Have I not seen it in a long enough time? Maybe. <laughs> Lola Shalam as the third witch, Rebecca Scroggs as Lady Macduff and the Doctor, Ethan Thomas as Fleance, and Ben Turner as Macduff. 
I'm always down for a bit of Shakespeare. I'm always down for a bit of Shakespeare. I'm ready for a bit of Shakespeare. And if you want to catch this, you can catch it in Liverpool, Manchester and London, I think. I will double check that and put that on screen right now. Thank you, f future editing Ellie. <laughs> I'm making my life harder for this. I've got to edit this really quickly. <laughs> And finally in casting news this week, we got the cast for the Babies Concert, the new musical that is getting a short three-day run at the Lyric Theatre on the 10th, 11th and 12th of November. I have got my tickets for this now, so I'm going to go see it. I'm very excited. But here is the full cast. They include Chloe Bell as Grace, Jaina Brock Patel as Becky, Lucy Carter as Lulu, Lauren Conroy as Jasmine, Jacob Daxler as Jacob, Ashley Goh as Alex, Christian Maynard as Ben, Morgan Phillips as Toby, and Shakira Riddle Morales as Leah. Again, non-binary representation, Ashley Goh, fantastic, stunning. We love to see it. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for this one. Support new British musicals. Support new British musicals. You don't you don't get your, your big British musicals. You don't get your Operation Mince Meats unless you're going and you're supporting new British musicals. Imagine all the new British musicals that you didn't go to support. And, and then we lost them to time because you didn't support them. Go support new British musicals. That's all our casting news this week. Let's move on to our miscellaneous news. Uh, I'm going to start with our extensions and our closures this week. First off, quickly, the extensions. Back to the Future has extended to the 21st of July 2024. You've got loads more time to travel back to 1950 and 1980 because it's the past now. As well as this, Cabaret has extended to the 28th of September 2024, joining Hamilton, <laughs> Les Mis and Phantom, which have all extended to that exact same date. I don't know what it is about the 28th of September, but a lot of shows are booking until then for now. <laughs> but sadly this week, it was announced that Jersey Boys will be closing on the 4th of January 2024. It's very sad to see it close. I'm sure, I would bet money that this is not the end we're gonna see for Jersey Boys. Jersey Boys is is iconic. It's always touring. It's always doing well. I would be, I would honestly be surprised if we do not see another tour late next year. So while we say goodbye to it in London, we will be seeing it soon. And that is one of the last theaters I need to check out, the Trafalgar. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to catch it before it closes. Another miscellaneous piece of news that we got was that next year, the National Theatre are going to be trialling some earlier start times to shows. From February 2024, the National Theatre is going to be piloting a select number of performances that will start at 6.30pm. This is being trialled because they have noticed uh, from feedback that some audiences want some earlier start times so they can have a longer time in London or get home earlier. It's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, they're trying to understand audiences post-Covid, and honestly, I fully welcome them trying this out. I know that I find it a lot easier to get home and a lot easier for myself if a show starts a little bit earlier, but it might not suit people who work outside of London, perhaps. Even just being a little bit more slightly out, like I'm an hour and a half away, like... Even just being a little bit more slightly out, if I was working any later, I probably wouldn't be able to get in for that time. It's going to be very interesting to see how these goes. These will be happening on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, in the first half of next year. So, if you want to see more early start times to London Theatre, make sure you go and give your feedback on those. As well as this, we've had the hint from the time I'm filming this. I don't know if they're going to announce it in the next couple of days. But we've had the hint that the Little Big Things will be releasing a cast album. They posted a little hint on their Twitter uh, saying that there's a Little Big Thing coming uh, with a little music note. I think we can all kind of put together what this might be. I think it's very likely we're going to be seeing a cast album for this show, which is fantastic. The music in that show is so lovely. And I'm very excited for more people to be able to listen to it and explore it and, you know, get to know this musical. It's, it's, a, it's a really lovely one. You get a chance to go and see it, definitely go and see it. And that is all of our miscellaneous news. So much news this week. We're moving on to the final section of the video, our transfers and new productions. First off, we have Treason. Now, Treason is going on a short UK tour later this year, 
I think literally next month. I think actually this month. Yeah. It's doing Edinburgh, London, but it was actually also going to do Dartford. We're, we're having a lot of problems in the UK with a certain type of concrete that's been used on a lot of schools, mainly, but also some theatres leading to these having to close for long periods of time. The Orchid Theatre is one of these that has been affected, uh, and because of this, the show has been cancelled from the 21st to the 25th of November. However, it is good news for treason, as it has been saved. During this period, the London Palladium will be host to treason for two performances only, on the 21st and the 22nd of November. Meaning that it's also got some more London dates, as it will be going to the Festival Theatre in Edinburgh, Sheffield Lyceum, the Alexandra Palace, and then will end its UK tour at the London Palladium. It's so nice to see the Palladium kind of step up and help treason out here. It's very exciting. I'm hoping that it can go back to Dartford at a future point. Uh, they mention in this press release that there is going to be a temporary venue, the Orchid West, opening in late November. So hopefully they can reschedule and get Treason back into that venue for people in Dartford. But if you haven't seen Treason yet, I saw a little preview of it last year. They've done a lot of work on the show. I'm really excited to see it in a couple of weeks. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Can't wait. Next up, if you love panto and you love a bit of drag, I've got one for you. <laughs> this year, Tuck Shop is doing a new panto. They've been doing these for the past couple of years, taking over West End theatres for a short amount of time over the Christmas period to put on a show. And this year is no exception, as we are getting a drag version of Sleeping Beauty, written by West End drag legend Miss Mop. It's going to be starring a lot of big drag names, including Kitty Scott Claus as Princess Beauty, Louis Cipher as King Clyde of Camden, Wyshe Black as Muddles, Kemya Bob as uh, so many things here as Prince Handsome of Hackney, <laughs> Camp Victoria Scone or Scone as Cara Boss, Ophelia Love as Ensemble Member, and. Our two breakout queens from season five of RuPaul's Drag Race, Michael Mawuli, and I can't do the Jersey accent, they do. Michael Mawuli, <laughs> and the iconic, legendary, my favorite of UK season five because I absolutely adore her, Kate Butch. I love her. <laughs> we'll be playing Fairy Fabulous and Queen Camilla of Camden, respectively. I can't wait for this. <laughs> I can't wait. I love, I love a bit of drag. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Next up, uh, we got the announcement that the 101 Dalmatians musical is returning in a new reworked version. So you may remember in last year's season at the Regent Park Open Air Theatre, they premiered the 101 Dalmatians musical. This didn't get the best reviews, however this, uh, this musical is being reworked and rewritten a bit and is going on a UK tour, which is opening in June 2024 in Wimbledon, and moving on to visit Birmingham, Norwich, Canterbury, Leicester, Manchester, Belfast, Wolverhampton, Newcastle, Southend, Liverpool, Milton Keynes, Woking, Cardiff, Southampton, Aberdeen, York, Glasgow, and Edinburgh. So if you're near any of those, you can check out this musical. I'm really interested to take this one out. I didn't actually catch it last time, but uh, I'm hoping that they've done a lot of work to it and helped to rework it and prove it as you know all new musicals have to do and let's hope there's something very special here there was a lot of really exciting puppetry and really interesting puppetry on that stage and can't wait to see it and finally and julia is back 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 again now and Julia is a show that I caught late into the west end run and i still beat myself up about it because i wish i could have seen it more but it's, it's great because it's coming back. It's going on a UK tour and it's announced a lot of places. And you know me, I have to say every single place that it is going. Otherwise I flop and I'm not flopping. It's announced pretty much all of its dates. <clears throat> it is going to be running in Manchester and then going to Blackpool, Norwich, Glasgow, Oxford, Sunderland, Hull, Plymouth, Wolverhampton, 
Canterbury, Liverpool, Southampton, Edinburgh, Leeds, and then in 2025, it's going to Bristol, Wimbledon, uh, Aberdeen, Leicester, Woking, Bradford, Milton Keynes, Nottingham, Birmingham, Southend, Stoke, Sheffield, Newcastle, Cornwall, Cardiff, and there's more dates to be announced. This is a chunky tour. That is a big old chunky tour. And we love a big old chunky tour. I'm so glad this is going to come back. I'm hoping that this is going to do well on tour because I miss this show. It's so joyous. It's one of those jukebox musicals that you just go in and you kind of switch off your brain a little bit. And it's fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. But... That is all of the UK theatre news this week. I'm really hoping no news has come out since making this video that is going to make this look really, really wrong. But <laughs> if I've missed anything, I'll cover it next week. It's fine. What's the news story this week that's got you the most excited? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me. It helps out the channel. Here's some links to my videos on screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. But that's it for me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.